Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mikkel. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn the bell. Each time I drop in, upload a video. You'll be notified. So turn the bell, ding, ding, turn the bell, turn the bell, turn the bell. And I hope everyone is having a lovely day. I'm also having a lovely day. I appreciate all the love and support. And thanks again for tuning in with me for another video. For today's topic subject title is going to be on, it's going to be about, it's going to be titled, The Devils Have No New Tricks, No New Games, There's Nothing New Under the Sun. And what I mean by this is, the evil devils and evil demons and evil archons, evil demigods, and evil demiurge, all the evil gods and evil goddesses that run this simulation, run this matrix. They don't use no new tricks, no new games. They all use the same tricks, the same games. They play the same games. They toy with our minds, always the same. They were doing these toys and these games, these tricks and manipulations for centuries. They were doing this since the beginning of time. They've been doing this for generations and years upon years and generations upon generations. And what I mean by this is these evil devils, these evil entities, evil spirits, these evil forces, they play God with our lives and it's out of our control because they're these, they're these unseen forces. They are unseen, powerful forces and they just mess with our lives. They mess up and F up our lives and we can't do anything about it. Everything is out of our control because we're not powerful to stop a lot of the evil things that they do. We're not powerful enough. We ain't got superpowers like them to go to war with them and battle with them. We ain't got the same amount of superpowers. Our powers is not strong and on the same level like theirs to go and battle with them and to go to war with them. So they just take advantage of us. They're bullies. They're the evil bullies of this matrix. They just bully us, but we gotta fight back with our mind. But this is a war on our mind. This is a warfare on our minds, our souls, and our spirits. We gotta fight back. We're keeping a strong mind, staying strong psychologically and mentally. That's how we defeat them. Keeping a strong mind, staying strong minded, and not letting them change your personality. Us staying strong minded, keeping a strong mind constitution and not letting them change our personalities, change our character, and change our ways. That's how we defeat them. That's how we beat them. Because like I say, they play games with everyone. No one escapes them. Like I say, you might think you had 
a bad childhood. Growing up, you might have been poor. Your parents had a low income and they was poor. You could be raised in the projects, in the slums, in the hood, in the ghetto, and your parents might not, your parents might not afford to buy you a lot of name brand clothes. Y'all was dirt poor. Y'all was urban and royal poor. Y'all was dirt poor. Your parents can afford to buy you expensive clothes, name brand clothes, name brand shoes. And so as a young child, you felt bad about yourself. You're probably saying, I'm poor. I can't get name brand clothes. I can't get name brand shoes. It's like, I got dressed poor. My parents go to Goodwill store and buy my clothes and shoes. I don't have nice clothes. My clothes are raggedy. <laughs> you might think your clothes is raggedy and your clothes cannot be expensive, high, and name brand. Your clothes are cheap in front of the Goodwill store. Okay, they're not good looking. So, so you might got teased in school. Other kids might have teased you because you didn't dress nice. Or, or, or you might feel bad and jealous of other children that had better clothes than you. Their name brand clothes, name brand tennis shoes. You might feel jealous. You might be envious and felt bad about yourself. You feel bad inside. I'm here to tell you, all because you went through that, don't feel bad. It's the past. It's over with. No one had a perfect childhood. Everyone went through struggles in their childhood. Everyone faced struggles and obstacles throughout their childhood. So don't feel bad about yourself. It was not only you that went through something. It was not only you that faced obstacles and challenges. I'm here to tell you. Now, someone else might had a childhood or when their parents had money. Their parents was wealthy or rich or had six figure incomes. Their parents had nice income and they could have had a, they could have raised a nice big five bedroom home or they could have been raised in a mansion. And they grew up and had everything. Name brand clothes, designed the jewelry, they had a great allowance, they got a nice luxury car at 16 or 17. They're the best. Their parents had money and their parents gave them everything. Their parents showered with them with great gifts, great expensive gifts. Their parents just showered with them and gave them the world. They didn't want for anything. They had anything. I mean, they had everything. They didn't want they didn't want for anything. They had everything. But even though they had everything, don't think their childhood was so much better than yours. Don't think their childhood was just all glitz and glamour. All peaches and roses all sunny, all fancy, all glitzy, all great. But trust me, they might have had parents, they had money, and they might have had everything. But they might have been, but they might have got teased with something that was less attractive on them. They could have been less attractive, or they could have got teased in school for having a, for having a imperfection. 
Look at the guys he's a school for having a big nose. Yes. Look at the guy he's a school for having a big nose. Big eyes. Big mouth. Big lips. Or the cook I teased about fair dark skin. The I call Blackie. <laughs> That's for African Americans or foreigners with darker skin complexions. But for the white, but for Caucasian, white, and the white nationality, the Caucasian race, then I got teased about a big large nose, big poppy eyes, <laughs> big lips, or lips too thin like a bird, bird lips. I got teased for having a big head, <laughs> or a skinny head, or skinny stick head, or they could have had, or they could have struggled with weight. They could have had weight problems. They could be chubby. They could have teased like, as a child for being obese, being chubby, being fat. They might have struggled with their weight. Okay, and I got teased in school. <laughs> they could struggled with going on diets, exercising, and trying to lose weight. But the weight may not came off. So that's all I'll say. They could struggle with their parents their money, but one parent could have been a alcoholic or a drug addict. The men that had the best parents, all because they had parents that had money and was financially stable, that they made their parents was the best and the great. That they made their parents had good parenting skills. Their parents could be drug addicts, alcoholics. Their parents their parents could have fuss, argue, and bicker all the time. They could fuss to argue and bicker. And bicker is the word. They could fuss to argue with each other all the time. Or their parents could be abusive. Their parents might have money and bought them things. But their parents might abuse them mentally, physically. Emotionally, emotionally, or sexually. So that's what I say. That's what I said that these devils, they place us, they write up our life contracts and they give us our own life path. Everyone is their own person. But these devils, all cons, these evil entities, with this matrix, these negative forces and negative energies, the with this matrix, they give all of us a life contract, and they chose our parents, they chose our, they chose how our childhood was going to be, our teenage years, adulthood, they mapped up our lives, and they chose for us to be in different situations and to, and to experience the chose for us to experience different life events different life moments they chose all the memories of our lives and they chose our parents our families and the neighborhoods that we grew up in they chose that we was going to be rich middle class or poor they chose all of that. Everything was predestined. They chose all of that. But they do a fake illusion to make you think that someone that's rich and middle class in their childhood, that they came 
for money. So that so their life was so great. They did lose you to make you think that all because someone came for money and prestige. That their life was so great, was so glamorous. Their life was just so perfect. And it's not the case. Like I say, they put them in a situation where they had money. They grew up with money. They was raised with the adequate things. But they put other problems and other obstacles in their life. They made them have a security. Any kind of fraud, he made them get teased in school about it. He made kids tease them. I mean, these evil entities made them get teased in school about it. They made kids. They made kids tease them. So they gave them, they placed them in a family with money and they were up on a social class and a social status. They was in that elite group, the elitists. But they gave them insecurities. They made sure that they got teased about their insecurities and their imperfections. Or they gave them an alcoholic or drug addict parent. Or they gave them a abusive parent. Even though they placed them with money, they made them be born with money and place them with money. They was born into money. Even though, even though these evil entities did that, they still made sure that they had to go through other challenges. They made sure that they had to face other obstacles and still go through problems. Their life was not all glitters. Because everything that glitters is not gold. On the <laughs> behind closed doors, that glitter was them. That glitter was not shining. That glitter was gloomy. It looked like the sun was shining all the time on them. But behind closed doors, behind the veil, in the glass house, the sun was down. The sun was down. And it was clouds. The house was filled with clouds. You could see all their problems in the shade. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so back to the poor person. Back to the person that was raised poor, was not born into money. You might not have money, but you might have had good parents. Your parents might not have been alcoholics. They might not have been drug addicts. They might not have been abusive. Your parents might have been very good parents. They showed you love. They cared about you. They took care of you. So well, you didn't have name brand clothes, name brand tennis shoes, designer jewelry. So what well, your clothes came from the Goodwill store or was cheap, low price clothes, low price tennis shoes. So so what your clothes was less looking. And some kids might tease you, or you might have felt bad about having less fortunate things, less fortunate clothes, less fortunate toys, less fortunate material things. You might have had less fortunate things, but your parents still took care of you. They used to make sure that you had clothes on your back, shoes on your feet, and food to eat. They still love you. They cared about you. They cherished you. They were wonderful to you. They showed you love. They were loving, kind parents. 
loving, kind, and generous parents. They were just poor. They just had a low income. But they still took care of you and made sure that you had things. The things wouldn't have been adequate on a top-notch level, but they were adequate for you to survive and to make it. That's what I say. These devils, they put all kinds of obstacles, problems, roadblocks, and stumbling blocks in everyone's life. That's what I say. Don't want to switch places with no one. Even if someone is rich, still don't want to switch. Even if you're poor, still don't want to switch. Still keep your own place. Still want to have your own life. Still want to keep your own life. Because I'm telling you, the grass is not greener on the other side. You might think it is, but the grass is not greener on the other side. Money is not everything. Money can't buy happiness. Money can make you feel better because I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, you down and broke and then get some money. You can't feel better because a lot of times I was down and broke and then I got, at, at times I was down and broke and then I got some money and I start feeling better. Money has made me feel better. But money make you feel better to only, to, money make you feel better to only buy material things okay, and material items. But money cannot bring you happiness. Money cannot bring you inner peace. Money can't give you self-love about yourself, self-value, self-worth. Money can bring up your self-esteem. Money can make you love yourself. You got to love yourself on your own without having money. Money can't bring you total happiness and bliss. It can't. So don't switch places. I'm telling you, even if you switch places, these devils got some other kind of obstacles that's right there waiting for you. Like I said, these evil, these evil devils, evil entities, archons, demons, demon earth, demon gods, these evil gods and goddesses, these evil gods, they ain't got no new tricks, no new games. They will use the same games and the same tricks over and over and over again. There's nothing new under the sun. Everything has been done before. Everything has been done previously. But they recycle and use these old tricks and these old games on the future generation, on the younger generation. They recycle and use these tricks and games over and over and over again on all humanity. All human mankind, man, woman, children, children, child, kids. <laughs> it does not matter. So even when you switch places with someone that you think has a better life, a much more perfect life, we think their life is totally in order and everything is together in their life on a larger scale, on a higher rate. I'm going to tell you, you can switch places. You can switch places. But as soon as you, as soon as you switch places, you're going to see that they got other problems, other obstacles, other roadblocks, other stumbling blocks, other other challenges, other unfortunate circumstances, other deadly dreadful situations right there waiting for you. It's right there waiting for you at the door of the other person's life. So I'm just to say, so just accept your life. Accept your life and try to make the best of it. Accept your life, try to work harder, Keep striving, keep going, never give up, no matter what. But keep working hard and try to and try to better your situation and try to better your life. Just accept your life, work hard, 
keep working hard and just hope for the best. You got to you got to accept your life. Work harder to change your circumstances. And just hope for the best. That's what you can do. Love yourself. Love the person that you are. Love yourself. Love your life. Work hard. Work harder. Work smarter. Keep going, keep pushing. And just and just try to better your life. Okay? And try to better yourself. But but you just got to okay, accept things and try to better yourself. Because there's because there is no way around it. There's no other option. There's no way to get out of this. We're stuck in this simulation. We're stuck in this matrix. We're stuck on this third dimensional realm, this 3D realm. We're stuck in this prison. We're stuck. We're stuck so there's no way of getting out of this. There's no way around it, so you, there's no way around it, so you just have to accept it. There's no way around it, so you just have to accept it. Try to do better. Try to improve your situation. Try to improve it. And just try to make the best of it. And keep going. Keep living. Just keep living. Keep living. Keep living. As long as long as long as you got oneness with self and you love yourself. That's all you need. You got peace of mind. You got self-worth for yourself, self-love and self-value for yourself. Your self-esteem is high. You got high self-esteem. As long as you got that, then that's all that matters. And that's all you need to just accept yourself, accept your life, accept the way things is. You got to accept the things that you cannot change. You cannot make something be there that's not there. I know it sounds hard, but it's the truth. It's the God's honest truth. It's the darnest truth. I gotta tell the truth. I gotta set the record straight. I gotta tell it like it T.I. tears. I gotta tell it like it is. You can't make something be there that is not there. You gotta just accept things and try to work to improve it, work harder, and just accept it and just make the best of it. And just keep living because regardless of what, you can find the beauty and love in everything. There's always beauty and love that you can find in your life and in yourself, with yourself. Yeah, so yeah, so just try to make the best of it, accept it, try to prove it, try to be accept it, try to prove it by working hard, working harder, and just try to make the best of it. Just keep loving yourself. Just, just keep loving you. Just keep going and just keep living. Okay. I appreciate all the love and support. Thank you so much for tuning in with me for another video. We'll see you all again in my next video. Enjoy the rest of your lively day. I'm also going to enjoy the rest of my lively day. I love to the chosen ones that's out there. I love you all truly. And sincerely mean that from the bottom of my heart. Bye, chosen ones. Bye. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn the bell. For each time I drop in, upload a video. You'll be notified. So turn the bell. Ding, ding, turn the bell, turn the bell, turn the bell. This is your girl, Mikhail, the World Goddess. Sign it out. I'm out until next time I see you. Well, love, well, love, I'm out. And for love.
see you all in my next video bye i'm out for love